So we had a bit of a problem yesterday with um, some of the sprite animations in the scene we was doing with Rose and Carol and the hero. Um, there was like a little flicker in the with the sprite when we changed it, but I can say that that's fixed now. Um, at first I thought it was to do with preloading image issues, but I don't think it is. I think it was more to do with there being a gap on the sprite sheet. We just needed to fill the row. And once I did that, it was working fine. So that fix now. And I've also added some more rose expressions. So where's Photoshop? I have so many uh, windows here. So here it is. Basically yesterday we used this surprised face for rose and we only had this one and it was blank in these two squares and that's what caused the flicker so i just put her there three times and it's all good now it's all smooth and the animation changes without the flicker and i made the most of doing some other expressions for rose because um looking at the dialogue we've got rose is gonna have a few different faces and i'm gonna show you the cutscene in a bit soon how how those faces fit in um, and because she's a character that doesn't speak even more even more important to make use of this sort of thing with rose but it's something i would love to do with everybody's character in general apart from the custom hero the custom hero can't have facial expression because there are hundreds of custom assets and it would take a bazillion years to, to do expressions for all of those. Um, I'm only halfway to the next level, this is going to take a while. Yeah, and we added another rank as well. Um, Tsunami isn't the top one anymore, Le Leviathan is. So, I, I don't even think I'm a Leviathan yet. Let me do my raindrops. Yeah, I even need a few thousand more to be the top rank and that's me my goodness so leviathan is in, is impossible to get basically that rank <laughs> insert a fat cat looking and not understanding what is happening <laughs> facial animations are going to be hard for my character yeah if they've got a mask on or something to that degree a helmet then probably yes it's certain characters i mean even rose she's got bangs so sometimes her eyebrows aren't very don't show, but sometimes they do. Like that actually made the most of the eyebrows in a in that one there, the angry one. She looks she looks sort of angry in that one on the far right. Hi Rose, looks like you're making steady progress. Hi Silent, how are you doing? So good to see you. We are. We've been working on cutscenes for the second main quest, and it's very heavy with dialogue and cutscenes. Actually, this part is so. We're getting to know Carol the Barrel a bit better. We're getting to know Rose a bit better. And um, we're going to be working on the biggest scene so far today. We're going to be building it today, making a start on it. And that it will be our longest cutscene that we've got so far. So exciting times. I just get red eyes when I'm angry or something. <laughs> yeah, we'll do. We'll definitely do something, Chubb. There's a way to do these things, and it's not even just facial expressions, poses and stuff. As long as, you know, sometimes poses are quite tricky, but you, you never know, we can pull it off. Because it's not too bad to do, especially the facial expressions, they're not too bad to do. Because all we do is, we, we uh, pick out these faces and just change the skin colour and the eye colour based on who the character is and then just pop them in on, on top, overlay it on top of the uh, sprite asset for the character and that's what I did with Rose. I just picked out some good faces and did them and I think she's not looking too bad on these on this sheet. So eventually, everybody, every character's got their own sprite sheet so eventually everyone's all be filled up with loads of different animations and stuff, it'll be fun. Exposition, very nice. Yeah, indeed. Hi, Square Eyes, how are you doing? This game is becoming so rich and complex. I love it. Yeah, it is. Like, all the time we're adding more to it. It's fabulous. And website, all going well end of next week, folks. So, fingers crossed. No, no nothing that's going to stop the website launch. No techie weird things. 
So I'm excited about that. How are you doing, squirrels and silent? Now, are you guys doing well? He doesn't show his emotions. Yeah, and it all depends on personality. Some characters will never be very expressive or show anger or sadness. And some some will be very emotional. It all depends on the character. I just noticed other reptiles have wings and tails. Do I got to think of a reason why I don't? Well, I, I was assuming it was all hidden under your armour. It would probably hurt a bit. But we could always add the wings and tail outside the armor that is not a hard job if we want to if we want to make a, an edit like that to your character chop i guess it all depends on what how you feel he should if, if he would show his wings and tail if he's disguised then no but if not if it's not a disguise then i'm sure he wouldn't mind showing them okay so um we'll be looking at the cutscene and seeing how how it's getting on. I want to catch you guys up on the edits. Um, but before that, I'm going to also mention that I made some edits to the dialogue as well yesterday. So there's a few extra things compared to how it was at the end of last stream, and I'm going to just run through them. Um, if anybody wants to have a peep, we got a dialogue command to show you the dialogue from the scenes we've been working on. And also, if anyone hasn't watched the story so far video yet, that will catch you up on exactly how far we've got. Um, when that, where that video ends, is where is literally where we're carrying on from with now. And um, the story so far part two will probably be released um, sometime next month. That's all. That'll be fun. Yeah, even if it is unrealistic, it would be much more visually appealing to have armoured lizard folk have their wings and tails easily viewable. Yeah, we can totally see how that looks, Chubb, with your with your character's wings and tail and shine. Well, I think it might look pretty snazzy, actually. <laughs> might look pretty cool. But yeah, that would be great. Um, so, what I did do... Don't laugh, guys. There's a bit of dialogue in particular that gives a, a carol romance point. Um, it's loot. It was suggested by Careless Rex. Also, guys, just give me a sec because my piggy tails are falling out, so I just need an extra clip. It was suggested by Rex. <laughs> and um, that is one dialogue option. I'm sure you can spot, spot it. It's right there on the screen i'm not gonna repeat it <laughs> but um carol at that point gets pretty embarrassed um and uh we're gonna totally do a blushing facial animation for carol and make make her character um have cheeks that are a bit brighter as well because if we have a look at uh, carol's barrel um, she has cheeks, we can make them blush, we can make them stand out more. I definitely want to make the most of Carol's expressions too. Um, I've been working on roses yet last night, but not so much Carol's. So, um, over tonight or over the weekend, we'll, I'll probably start adding more Carol ones. So, the cutscene will be improved slowly over the week. Um, I've slowly been doing things to make it better. Um... Uh, I also changed where the characters were positioned in the cutscene last night as well. They're a little bit... They don't walk as far across the screen now. Well, the hero doesn't anyway. So it's all, they're all a little bit closer, which is better in my opinion. I think it's more intimate. Um, so we'll do a test play, I think. I keep saying that, but we'll do it for sure now. And once we've done that, once I've shown you guys the test play, we will start the cart scene. Since these kind of features make it very clear to the player what kind of race they are talking to. Yeah, and yeah, totally. The only time, like, if we weren't going to show the wings is if it was part of the plot or the character arc for that character to be in a disguise. Then I would totally understand why they wouldn't be showing our armour wings. But I don't believe Chub Cheeks' character has that character arc. He's wearing his armour for other reasons. So... I'm I'm totally for showing off your wings and tail, Chub. 
if that's the case. Well, what all we'll do is, once the website's launched and I'm back into doing the character sheet stuff, because I've got to do a lot of character sheet stuff, I'll update your character sheet um, with the wings on, you, on, on on the sprite and that. And same with mine, because I have to update my character sheet too. There's a couple of a sentence that I have to edit, because there's a, uh, that I used the wrong word i use the word sentient and i think i should say sapient instead so mine just needs a slight edit too okay so back to rpg maker uh hide the internet so scene six is an eight i'm mostly complete now there's just it's all about just making some more expressions for carol and adding a little bit of extra dialogue particularly at the, the end um, but they're like 90% there now. Um, and it's just the scene in between, scene seven, to work on, which is the flashback cart scene. But the two scenes on either side, scene six and eight, uh, are done. We've worked on those uh, yesterday and Monday. Um, so everything, all the issues and bugs that we had in the cutscene yesterday are all fixed now as well. So what I'm going to do, folks, is pause this background music. So it doesn't clash with our test play game music. Okay, so I need to stick my earphone in so I can hear it too. Yeah, when I initially made the character, it was like he was hiding amongst humans, but then I sort of changed that unintentionally in that origin thing I wrote. Yeah, well, exactly, Chubb. So if it's nothing about hiding or disguising, then yeah, I, I think it, I agree with silent, and I think generally it's cool. it will be cool to show your reptileness. We'll, we'll be, be proud of your reptileness, Chubb. And I think you, you are proud of your race, so don't think there's any shame with who you are. Um, you're quite similar to Rex's character in that you hate humans and you're looking for your revenge and stuff, but I suppose you, you'll both have your differences as well with how you handle things. Hi Binary, how are you doing? It's good to see you. I've added your um, name to our character sheet list in our Trello. I'll give you guys the actual link to our Trello so you can have a nosy if you'd like. Okay. Um, can my character of the lizard tail <laughs> wins? Wins? Do you mean you want your character to do a poo -ta? Is that what you mean by wings? Wind? Wins? <laughs> Whoop, I'm good, thanks. Hope you and everyone else is well. We're good. I loved Binary's reaction to Carol being a romanceable character yesterday. He was so excited, weren't you, Binary? <laughs> okay, so. Cut scene. Here we go, then. Yay, no more flicker. Okay, so it's just this bit now, this choice here. I want to kind of expand on the dialogue on this at some point. But other than that, I think it can seem pretty good. And there's a choice of three things, conversation branches in it too. And um, I think all of them are pretty cool. Um, so this is scene eight now. This will be after the flashback. And Carol's just having a bit of a monologue. There's Sad Rose. Oh, Sad Rose. Okay, and... The cutscene ends and then we're free to walk again. I've got to slightly tidy that up a bit, but it's not too bad. And then it, um, the cell switches are working and stuff, so that's cool. The cutscene doesn't repeat itself. And then you can just carry on walking and head to the next part. So that bit we just showed was scene six and scene eight. Scene seven, the middle one, that goes in between those two, is going to be the big one, which is the flashback. So let's get working on that. Um, here it is. If we, We've got our draw fl IO flow up. So um, this was scene six. 
And those are all what the three branches do. And it all leads back to the same thing. Um, and C note is super short. It just like finishes the, the whole scene. But this is the long one. So this is only just part of it. We're going to expand on it even more over time. And the barrels, the barrel companions just have a, a bit of banter and then eventually a car jacking, a car hijacking interrupts them and then things will get really intense. So we're going to be making a cart scene today. Um, my idea for the cart scene was something like this. I saw somebody do a train and it's like a parallax map so it basically works like this um the only thing i'm thinking would be different would be it would be vertical instead of horizontal and there's a reason for that which i'll talk about in a sec but it would work the same with how we kind of show movement like the illusion of movement um though i think the car would probably look better if it was in the middle Whereas that trains at the side. So we're going to work on making a scrolling background and a cart. Um, and that's going to be fun. Um, I found this asset. So we're going to have a look at how this looks um, as an asset in RPG Maker. We can totally change the colour from white to something else if we feel it would look better. Um, and there's an interior there. And I was looking on RPG Maker form about how people, somebody that wanted to do something similar to what I want to do, I want to give the impression that uh, a vehicle is driving. So that's what we want to do. But it's not going to just be that scene. We're also going to show the interior too. So there's going to be two particular scenes. There's going to be the the actual outside with the car on the cart on the road, and we're also going to have the interior where all the companions are, and that's where we'll have the conversation. So um, the first part of it is the the barrel and her companions are on a cart on the road at night time. And then early on, Meryl calls the barrel Carol, and that's how we find out that her name is Carol. Let me catch up with chat. Whoop, I'm good, thanks. Hope you and everyone else as well. I am going good. Uh, me and Rex could have an alliance of sort, but one that is bound weekly. Yeah, it's good. Your characters are definitely going to have a link because you're the same race and you've got the same values, and you're both antagonists, you know, because you think alike morally and you both despise humans so I pretty much think you're going to be a sort of team but maybe something happens along the way where something splits you up but there's going to be some we got to have some sort of drama we'll, we'll soon figure out how to make that story work because it's going to be quite one of the early stories the reptiles in Raindrop Chronicles um very likely going to be in episode one I'd say that was incredible. Wow, yay. Damn, it's really exciting to catch bits and pieces of the game like this. When I go to play and put everything together, it will be an incredible ride. Oh, thank you, Silent. Even more intense than just playing through a really great RPG since there have been all these teasers during development. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you for the kind words. And I'm glad you thought it was good. I mean, I'm happy with it so far. It's 80 90 percent there we're gonna put a few finishing touches on the scene more carol expressions there's a scene with the morning wood joke where carol gets a bit embarrassed uh, like we can see her dialogue here we've got that she blushes so i really want to make a, an embarrassed face have her cheeks go red and it'll be a little a nice touch um, and just, yeah, Carol's very Sundayer, isn't she? She's very angry, so we make more use of angry faces as well with Carol. Um, so, yeah, just little small touches like that. And I'm I'm excited too, and I agree. It's it's the ride that makes it fun, and that, I think it being episodic is, makes, makes it even better as well because people will get to play episode, episode one, and that will just even make it more exciting for everyone will be getting excited for episode two, hopefully. 
Um, I just don't want to be part of the troop of bad guy who turns good. I want to be bad till the end. Yeah, and I think that's where you and Rex's character will differ because um, Rex, I don't know if I've if anybody is aware of this. I did mention it on stream a couple of months ago, but Rex's character where he's going to be more of a redemption arc character where he's a bad guy who turns good and even it could become an optional ball player character towards the end of the game. So he is kind of going that route, whereas Chub Cheeks is going, staying the bad guy, which is cool as well because that your characters are going different arcs and that, that makes things interesting too. Um, bad to the bone. <laughs> Hi, Lily Bite. How are you doing? Welcome. How are things going? Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> so, we're going to make the cart scene, and this one's more intimidating because it's going to be a really complex scene. But if we can pull it off, it's going to be pretty awesome. That's all I'm going to say. And um, this stream, we'll just make a start on it. It's not going to be perfect, it's going to be really rough around the edges, and the mapping's going to be a bit scruffy too but if we can get it working and get a sort of foundation in place then that will be great and we can slowly build on it during tomorrow's stream and over the weekend I can work on it too and maybe in into the start of next week as well because I won't be doing as much work on the game this weekend because of the website so it might take a bit longer to finish this scene um but it's it's a very important one excited and once we've finished all this cutscene work with the flashback it's we'll be going back to the fruit guys the blueberry and team will be going back to them who they're the first boss of the game so that'll be fun we haven't seen those guys in a while good thanks mate to yourself oh do you guys know each other or you just been super friendly because that's awesome if you've just been super friendly I am Fabu, how be you? I'm doing I'm doing great. I am I am loving doing this at the moment. I feel super motivated, guys. So yay. Right, so we're gonna make a new map then, and I think the best place to put this new map is probably off this scene, because this is where the flashback is gonna happen. So I'm gonna copy and i'm just gonna paste it just for to make it easy and i'm gonna call it everbloom forest flashback flashback one actually because we might it's very likely we can have a few flashbacks in the story considering there's a past with carol that we're going to want to know about and we've got some really cool characters that we're going to want to see more of um so, first of all, let's just, should we get rid of this parallax map because we won't be using that one for this scene. And we'll get rid of all the events, we'll get a blank map. Um, but we might make the map a bit smaller because I think what I'd like to do is make it repeat and loop to give the impression of movement in the cart that to give the impression that somebody's riding the cart so we might not want it to be this long I mean we might we could we could make it that long and still make this repeat we'll see how it looks um get rid of all this extra stuff but mainly what we want to do is just get a sort of map very similar to how we've got how how this guy has done it here with the train um they've got the tracks in the middle and the forest stuff on the outside so we we could do something similar we could have um grass let's get some grass down What one does the Everbloom Forest use? What grass part? I don't know for sure because this is all a parallax map. And thank you very much, Recon Life, for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome to the stream. I'm going to try and find out. It's not that one. 
yeah, I believe it's it's that one. So and I will probably make a parallax map of this um, as well eventually so we can make it more fancy and to be honest we're gonna have to make a parallax map of it anyway because we're gonna oh have a weird pop-up a virus thing apparently i've got malware go away <laughs> okay i don't know if you guys can hear that beep it's silly go away keeps coming up I've not even done anything weird. Like, all I've done is... Okay, I think it's stopped now. <laughs> but there was a very loud beep. And I hope... I don't know if stream picked it up, but totally not. Um, the game dev community on Twitch is pretty small. We mostly know everyone. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. And I'm very... I'm very much a... Uh, what should I call myself? An antisocial hermit. So I don't really talk to anyone in the game dev community. I just sit there and make my game an isolated hermit. Um, is this game going to have a world map? A map of the whole continent or whatever? This is the only game dev stream I've ever watched. Yeah. Chub Chub has known me since the beginning, haven't you, Chub? And you've come along for the ride. Um, and is it as as for the answer to your question? Is it going to have a world map? Um, probably it's going to have a world map for sure, but not where you'll walk on it. If you get what I mean, it's it'll probably only show the world map during the times when we change zones and on and when people want to teleport. Like we might have a teleport. Uh, feature in the game i think that is usually pretty handy especially as the world expands um and the map will be on view then when you want to go from place to place um but it won't be like old school final fantasy style where you actually walk i would rather keep it a bit more realistic i guess um but final fantasy 10 style more probably because they have a world map but they don't walk on it, they just show it now and again when they go between different areas. So probably that approach more. But you're going to have a world map, that's for sure. What is a fantasy without a map and a world? I didn't know you ain't a hermit would be no for this. <laughs> Not so isolated. Now I've been seeing game dev regulars come here. Oh, really? That's awesome. Yeah, I'm very... I should socialise more and go in other streams. I will admit I don't do it very much at all. Um, but it's, it's great that people want to be here. <laughs> I appreciate you. I've been here since the 25th of July, 2017. Oh, we know the exact date. Chub. I do have a follow command, so. And hi, Yumi, how are you doing? So it's more like Pokemon games. Oh, do Pokemon do it that way? I'm actually not sure how Pokemon do their world map, because I haven't played a Pokemon game since Pokemon Yellow. I loved Pokemon Yellow, though. But it's been a long time. I'm doing good, Yumi, are you? I hope so. Okay, so we've got a map of green. Have we got a path? Have a dirt road. Well, we won't want it like that. Don't know about that colour. But it's going to look a bit... It's not going to look very pretty right now, folks. But when it when it when when I spend more time making it into a fancy power lap map, it's going to look wonderful. I will promise you that. Um, but we're just going to have a plain old map today. Just get everything in place. And make sure everything's working mechanically. Um, with the flashback. It's about making it pretty at the end. So. So it's right in the middle there. We don't want it. Obviously, we don't want a, a path that's dead straight. We'll make it more 
messy. Now, I don't think he'll be that twirly. It's going to be pretty straight because it's a cart. He's going along and we're going to make it loop. Um, but I'm not going to focus on making it look too fancy for now. I can, I'm one who can get easily caught up in trying to make something pretty before we've even got it working in the first place. Um, I mean I'm trying now <laughs> okay so what so the main thing we got to do is make sure that the top matches with the bottom so that it's seamless when it does uh, repeat I'll do for now okay um, so I'm kind of gonna get inspired by this train here but we're doing it vertically instead of horizontally I hope it's it's not going to cause any issues doing it vertically rather than horizontally um, but I'm sure it's, it'll be fine um, and we'll get it moving exactly like how this works and um, we'll have the car more in the middle I think um, and uh, what else it's gonna be night time that's another thing so we will have to change the screen tinting and that but that can be done after and another thing is also the location um, as you can see here we're in the Everbloom forest um, a very foresty, cliffy, waterfall area in the game. Um, the flashback is going to be taking place more on flatland, um, kind of in an area between Everbloom Forest and a, and a local farm town. Um, and it's probably coming back from the farm town and go, heading back into Everbloom Forest, I'd say. That's my guess, because that would explain how Carol will eventually... Be back in the Everbloom Forest, but I'd say that this cart journey kind of goes be to and from Everbloom Forest quite regularly, probably. Um, so, but it's definitely going to be more flatland, but probably going to have a few trees around, um, but not so not so many as the Everbloom Forest. Um, it's going to probably look a bit more farm farmy farmy. Um, I just looked at the clip I know happened the day I followed. That's how I knew. Yeah. <laughs> Looking at it now, it looks too much like an overhead view. But I guess just adding trees and stuff will remove that effect. Yeah, for sure. Um, when you when we add more objects, it can change the perspective quite a lot. But for sure, it's going to look very rough around the edges today, folks. We'll just get everything working today. And uh, we can work on making it pretty afterwards but another thing we need to do is make the interior of the cart so usually when it comes to interiors I try to get the shape as close as possible like for these buildings here in Lakefall I've got a square for those two and I actually have the bit sticking out for those two to keep it realistic so we want it to be the same shape and ratio as the cart ideally so really it's probably more sensible we get the cart first and then just make it size based on what the cart is but the reason we're doing it vertical instead of horizontal is because we want to be able to see the back of the cart because carol's going to roll out of it and um the way carol's sprite is positioned and how it looks when when it's on its side it works to be happening vertically rather than horizontally um, so it's just a lot easier to do it this way and yet and also having um, it be more that shape the car rather than this shape will generally be better I think um, so I did find a kite sprite online 
I'm going to save that now. Um, and I'm going to open it in Photoshop. So give me a sec. So we have a horse and a man. We don't we that horse is a tiny one. <laughs> if we're gonna show a horse, I'd probably make him bigger, but we'll find a bigger horse. But we only are gonna show it from the back, which I believe is this middle one here. And I assume there's like at the front the horse is gonna be there and I mean, that's the question. Which one? The only reason I'm thinking that one's from the back is because we're not seeing these horse things here. Horse things. <laughs> um, so it, this one makes more sense as a cart from the back. And I was thinking we could change the colour to more of a light brown or beige. It might go a bit more, but we'll do that later too. Um, but, so getting the kite in RPG Maker, the best way to do that is to probably... How did that this guy do it in the video? Is to make it into a sprite, I think. Because um, then we could potentially animate it, like show its curtains in different positions as well. And the wheels moving too, maybe. Although I'm not sure about that, but it would be pretty cool if we can get that effect. So... Uh, okay, so I've got to remind myself how sprite sheets work in terms of the sizing. I'm probably just going to get an, a random sprite and copy it. Because it is going to be bigger than a character sprite. But we are allowed to have big sprites, so that's fine. Um, now, these are big sprites. We can use this one as a template. Okay, so, um, yeah, it might be a bit big, but I'd rather have the room, so I don't mind. And for now, I'm probably going to just fill, fill it up with the same sprite, but over time, if we just want to make it look different and animate it, we can just change it. Hopefully. I'm actually not sure about how the process of this because I've not really dealt with object sprites before. But um, I'll learn. So we've got to get it all aligned and stuff. So, okay, we need another row. It's three by four, I see, not three by three. Is there any other carts on that image if you scroll down? Nope. It's all, that's all there is. I've looked at a few carts and wagons and um, there's a few ones that are from the side, horizontal perspective that look decent, but we need a vertical one. And we'll see how it looks in the map. I mean, hopefully it'll look good. We'll soon find out. 
Um, so we, I think I'm probably going to have to put a grid up because it's hard to. So it's 360, so. Okay, so that, what is it? How big is it? It is 480, I cannot count. So it's 120 in width as, in length as well. Very, these grid lines are very pale, I can barely see them. The card on the very right middle is more forward than the others. If that's important, you fixed it, never mind. Yeah, don't you worry. Uh, it's very important to get it aligned, especially if we do animate it, because it'll all be wonky otherwise if we don't get it alive, right? But it doesn't matter for now, because it's we're only going to be using the one static image for the cart during the testing phases make sure it works okay first um, but it's nice to get the sheet all ready and prepared so that's one bit of out of the way okay so I think now fine we just need the one more row So we'll get this saved and we'll put it in. So we're going to call it cart. Because it's bigger, we have to put a. I um, think we have to put a. Uh, an exclamation mark in front, I believe. Or a, or a dollar symbol, I'm not sure which one, but I think. Where's the, uh, the big tree sprite I did? I think it might be both. I'll just put an exclamation mark and a dollar sign in front. Because if you're doing it of a different size to how it normally is, you have to put some sort of symbol in front to make it, RPG Maker, make it work properly. So we'll see if it works. Okay, so here we go. We've got... The sprite of the cart and maybe that will work maybe it won't we'll soon see um we'll just stick it there for now in the middle and we're gonna have to do a test 
so obviously it's not a parallax map yet but i want to see how what size the cart is and how it looks on the map so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna make this square um transfer to this map instead so that we can test it um But we don't want to see the hero, that's the thing. So, I have to make the hero be hidden from part of the party. So, done that. Um, Copy those and um, we'll put a little parallel trigger event in the corner um, we don't want that one so if turn player follows off yes because we don't rose following us we want to stop playing movement we'll fade our music down and we also want to get the hero out of the party for this scene so we don't see him so Here somewhere, change party member, and that's it. Remove. There we go. So there shouldn't be any, the player shouldn't be there when we change the scene now. So let's do a test play and see. Sure, they're good now. Let's hope so. We'll soon see how it looks. This is all about making sure it's, it's the right cart for us. Hopefully, we've got a decent looking cart. That doesn't look too small or anything. Let's look. Loading error. Image overlays part. Okay. The reason why that's happened is because we need to do this. On the flashback scene, we got some note tags that we shouldn't have. So we'll get rid of those note tags for now and have it blank. So we haven't set up the parallax map yet, so that's why that, that crashed then. Semi, thank you for that highest. I appreciate it. How are you doing? Did you just have a stream? I hope it went well. If so, welcome to the stream. So let's hope, hope we don't get a bug this time. Okay, so that's how it's looking. Um, yeah, we just finished up. Hello, awesome. Let's see what he's doing. I'm gonna be nice, eh? Oh, you were doing some sign technology too. You making a game as well? Tell us about it. If of course, if you're not shy, no pressure. Um, right, so this is how it looks. We're gonna one step is that we wanna make you know, we wanna make this they give the illusion of the cart riding so that's one thing we're going to do we're going to make a, a vertically scrolling parallax map to do that um the size it will could be fine it all depends on how big the character sprites look compared to the cart so we're going to stick a sprite there and have a look um if it feels that it's a bit small, then I'm probably going to work on just making a slightly larger version of that cart. Um, but it doesn't matter really too much because we're going to be um, showing the interior and zooming in when we actually have the conversation scene. Um, so, like, for example in like full obviously these buildings here are pretty tiny but when we when we actually go in the buildings they're much bigger they it just kind of gives the illusion that they're smaller when we look see the outside map and it'll work the same with the cart um as long as we get the ratio of the size right when we go in the interior then that's the main thing um but let's uh let's just stick um Rose and Carol the barrel here and look how big the cart looks next to them. We'll switch screen. 
We got Tess playing. Okay. So we might need to make it a touch bigger because, you know, six objects, four barrels, a box and a cookie jar have to realistically fit in this cart. So if Carol looks like she's huge in comparison to the car, it's not going to be very believable that it can all fit in there. So, but I don't think it will be too hard to do a large version of that cart. Um, let's do another test prime. It zoomed in on the road a lot more than I was expecting. Yeah, it does. Um, when you see the map in the RPG Maker editor, everything's a lot smaller and zoomed out. Um, like... So for sure, it, it will, it does look larger, which is a good thing. Okay, so I think we will need to make a bigger cart because looking at the size of Carol and Rose, it, only one human would fit in there, let's face it. Carol would only fit in there on her own <laughs> because she's, she, she's a big barrel and we need to realistically fit four barrels. And um, I mean, we don't have to, you know, games are games and who cares, right? But I like doing the extra detail and, and adding realism if I can. So we'll make it, we will make it bigger. I think it'll be worth it. And there will be a hijacking scene and we will see Carol roll out this cart. So we kind of have to make it believable that she would roll out of that. Um, so we will need to make it bigger. And Rose will be kind of killing people outside this cart too. So... Um, step one is making the cart bigger and step two will be getting it to scroll and give the illusion of the cart moving pot didn't be and then once we've done all those bits um, we can actually work on making the map prettier and we'll also do the interior as well um, Hi guys, let me catch up on chat, I've got behind. Yeah, we're doing an action shooter rogue, like, awesome. Very science and technology. Yeah, well, good luck with that. How far are you through your game? I think it may a little bit, be a little small. If that's a big thing in the middle, won't rows in the car overlap if you place them on adjacent tiles? Oh, I was wrong, never mind. How will you make it bigger? Make it the size of four carts. So TK thinks make it four times bigger. I think that would be a good idea too. Um, four times bigger sounds like a good idea. Has anyone ever thought about keeping a tally for the amount of times Rose goes on about her barrels? I've probably said the word barrel about a thousand times now, binary. Hi, Matt. I think it might be partly because the cart is just the same width as the door. Yeah, it's a, it's small. It's quite small, but we. I don't think it'll be hard. Let's get far to shop up and think what we can do here. Um, I think we can do it. I'm going to give it a go. So what I am going to do is get a whole new canvas. We'll leave, we'll leave this one for now. Just put this on a new one. Um, right, let's make this even bigger, this canvas. Yeah, it's probably not going to be that big. But we'll just leave the extra space for now. Um, maybe making it double wide long would be good enough, even if it's a little bigger once you get in. We worked on it for three years or so. Oh, that's a long time. Well, if you ever want to tell us about your game or show it off um, in our Discord channel, we do have a creative work channel. So, And that's for anybody who wants to share their, their creative work of all kinds. Um, feel free. Um, so double wide long would be good enough. So we can work on that now then. I'm thinking let's get straight into making this cart bigger because it's probably the most important thing at this point. So I'm thinking <laughs> we could literally just make it wider. Well, one idea is to do something like this and just copy and paste the middle bits to fill it in. We might need to tidy it up 
a bit of course there's probably a few pixels that shouldn't be there um, okay we're one pixel short so this is an easy way to probably make it bigger just like do that what I've just done um, in width it does that so before it was that well, before it was that and now it's that so we could still make it even bigger we can make it bigger in length as well um, what do you guys think about doing it this way merge visible um, so we can shift this bit up a bit let's think of the best place to do that That works well. It does, doesn't it? It's surprising what you can do with assets. Hi Van, how are you doing? You've been working and lurking as usual. It's good to see you. I appreciate the lurks. Hope you guys know how much it means to me. It's very it's an awesome feeling knowing people are interested in something that you're doing. Okay, so. So that's one way to do it we could do we tidying it up a bit just a few of the pixels but it has worked it's made it bigger um, so before it was this I kind of want to paste what it originally looked like so we can compare it that would be cool um, so if we can just get the original so ideally I want to keep the ratio the same we could probably even make it a little bit longer still. Um, I don't want it to be short and stubby. Um, but compared to what it is there, it's an improvement. Um, I mean, what is what's pretty cool about this cart that we've got? We we do have um, some with the curtain shut as well. Um, I like the one that's open simply because Carol, in the story, Carol does roll out the cart, so it will have to be open, really. Um, and we can even show the little cookie jar peeking out right at the start of the cutscene, perhaps, because he's the first one to speak. Um, we could like eat, we could show the cart riding along at night for a few seconds. Um, as the scene comes in and and um and then uh the cookie jar can poke his head out and then it can transition to the interior and then we see the rest of them maybe problem i think now is maybe the wheels look a little small in comparison oh yeah that's what that's another thing to think about a uh, good point uh we can work on resizing those right so i'm gonna I'm going to merge these layers again, merge visible. Um, oh, where's it gone? Hide that, merge visible. There we go. Um, we'll make it a little bit longer. And then we'll work on making the wheels bigger. But yeah, it looks a little bit repetitive how we've got the line here with all three looking the same. So I will probably edit that too and just tidy up the shading and get rid of that weird black bits that are there too. But that was all the result of just copying bits. It's pretty untidy right now, but it's working. I think this, this way of making assets bigger works. Uh, merge visible. Okay, so wheels. Okay, so we could try doing it the same way. Could just
maybe two pixels wider and something like that how would how does how would that look do you think imagine if that wheels filled in would you say that that size is believable so that could work let me know chat if you think it needs to be bigger or small i'm not the best when it comes to um sizes of things and what's a realistic size of a wheel um Will there be horses pulling the cart or is it magically propelled? Oh, there will be horses. But um, if you if we look at the original, we've got a horse on this one. But um, because we're seeing it from the back, we the horse... Maybe, would we see it? That's the question. Because I'm imagining the rider and the horse are at the front. Um, we, would we see the tip of them? We might see the tip of the horse. Um, so we could find a horse asset from facing the front and just stick him there. And the rider, maybe the rider would be hidden by the top of this. So, yeah, for sure, we're going to have a horse. Because that's what's going to make the flashback even more heartbreaking. Because the horse is going to he's gonna die. <laughs> well, maybe. We'll see. When we plan the hijacking scene, we'll decide where it dies. Um... I think it's an alright size, but you'll need to recenter it on the axle. Okay, so do you do you mean move it across a, a bit more? Will that make it more centered? Like that? How many how many pixels are, would you say? Two? Because it is sticking out a bit, isn't it? Like that. But it seems to look a bit better if it was a bit in. Oh, you mean up or down? Oh, yeah. How about that? Guess it's thinking how far up that or that. I'm, I'm, I'm not the best at this sort of thing. <laughs> but looking at that one, if I'm comparing it to that, it probably would make sense if it was about that, maybe. Yeah, I think it, it's more in the middle there, maybe. Yeah. Thank you, guys, Chubb and Met, for your feedback. Um, it's always very helpful. Because sometimes with doing stuff like this, you don't always realise. So it can be good to have other sets of eyes. Um, so first, I think now I'll fill in the wheel and we'll, we'll copy and paste and flip it for the other wheel once it's done. So, Okay, so that's literally now just a bigger version of that. We could we could round it off a bit more so it doesn't look so square. Maybe if we just No, that looks deformed like that. Maybe I think rounding it off is good, but there's still something a bit off about that. Maybe we need that one too. That does that look deformed? I was just kind of make wanting to make the reel just a bit rounder because um, it might now it's been made bigger. It kind of looks a bit square. How it was originally that is like when it's like that i mean it doesn't look terrible it can still work um 
Or it may be if you remind the rag and shorter but still has the same amount of shadow lines, it will give the illusion of a lower camera angle and the horse could be hidden. Yeah, we could do that too. I kind of want to show the horse though now that it's been mentioned. I think it could be cute. Um, so it wouldn't hurt as long as there's a horse asset out there, which I'm sure there is because there's plenty of animal RPG maker assets. We can find a nice horse. Um, summon goes to... A horse is a physical damage attack spell learnt after doing the flashback. <laughs> Ooh, the, well, we we will have a summoner class. We do have a summoner class. And I think it's recently been um, taken, actually, by somebody. I will have to have a, a look to say um, if the summon has been taken. And who knows? We, there's, all, there's all sorts of talk about the summons we could have in the game. And having them be actual creatures... That we've already met would be pretty awesome we could even have one of the fruits be a summon <laughs> from the first boss what maybe <laughs> okay um yeah i think that wheel will be fine i think i'm just being a bit fussy trying to make it circular and um it kind of made it a bit deformed when i did that anyway um flip horizontal Hmm. I'm wondering what that those four little bits of pixel are now. Um, yeah, I don't think they're meant to be there. So we'll just well we'll just merge those. Yeah, what thing is, it's kind of gone in a bit there, but it's so, something looks a bit strange about it, but we can fix that by just making a, doing this maybe. Looked a little bit square. Anyway, okay. Are you going to make the wagon with another frame with the wheels a pixel higher so it looks like they are moving? Oh, yeah. I think doing um, animated wheels would look really cool. So, um, for sure. If we if we are happy with how this cart looks when we do a test play, um, and if we can get the parallax map scrolling, then I'd say that the animation part will come in after that. Um so yay, hi Pooh. Hi Sick Boy, how are you doing? It's good to see you. Also guys, I'm gonna put some the mu the music back on in the background. Um because I did turn it off briefly for the um test play when we did it. I'll put it back on. Okay, so yeah, I think let's get Carol. Where's Carol? Just so we can test, we'll just copy and paste Carol and see how she is now, how the size of Carol compares. So next to the original cart, she was definitely... Um, we can make this even bigger. Um... I'm thinking maybe have it a bit longer like this as well. I think it's more because uh, Carol has to roll out. Now, if Carol was um, rotated, yeah. So we will have to make 
probably even more bigger. But she can roll out by uh, she the barrel itself fits fits there. We just need to make it a bit taller, and she can roll out of it then. Looking at wagon wheels, them being a bit squared off is all right since they're just kind of a shape like that. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad um, at all. It makes them look a little bit more sturdy, to be honest, which isn't a bad look. Um, is it good? Is there going to be an audio track for the wagon? Do you mean a, a musical theme for the wagon? By all oh audio track you mean not music sound effect like wheels? I assume chub. Is that what you mean? When you said track it, I got I, I thought you meant music, but yeah, we sound effects are gonna be pretty important. Um I, I went as far as having a barrel being an open sound at the start of the game when Carol opened herself. So all those little su subtle details I definitely want to add. Just to make the cutscenes even even better and bring them more to life. Um those kind of things as well are like those extra details I add on at the end. Um, but the, the actual cart sound effect is probably quite an important one. Any explosions yet? Hi, Hinnell. Welcome. Um, well, there'll be dead people. A hijacking. No explosions, but definitely dead people. <laughs> They aren't that wide though, most of them have metal rims. Um, what has metal rims? <laughs> what part? Like a wheel's going down the road, creaky wood type noise. Yeah, that's a good idea, Chubb. Thanks for reminding me. Because I'll we'll have a look for a sound effect for that as well. If, if not today, then tomorrow or off stream. I'll keep an eye out for something like that. So I'm lo looking at that size now. Carol will will roll out of that fine. Um, let's put it back to normal. And it doesn't have to look like all the barrels and everybody fit in. Um, because it's fine, it's it's smaller from the outside, if you know what I mean. The, with the town, the Lakeville town, as I said earlier, the buildings do look smaller from the outside, but are larger when you get to the interior bit. So I think that is passable. But still give me your thoughts, guys. If you think this cart should be still bigger than it is, feel free to to say. Um, but I think that that is um, passable, this size that we've got. Um, I suppose we don't want to make it too big and it start to look really strange. Because um, if we do make it too large, it might start to look weird like it isn't even a cart anymore Not all of them though. Hi Oracle, how are you doing? Welcome back. Hope you're having a good day. Yeah, I guess as long as it looks like a cart, um, you know, it doesn't look deformed, then that's the main thing. Um, okay, so I'm all right with that. We'll just tidy it up now because we've got a few little extra pixels that probably don't belong.
I'm just doing this so it doesn't look too repetitive the pattern that we've got here so compared to the original that's how it's looking um, yeah we could probably yeah there's a couple of little things to edit just to make it look a bit better just a few finishing touches enjoy your brb chub um, Welcome back. <laughs> Did you get some yummies? Okay, so. How does this look at the top? Okay, I think that's better now. All the unwanted pixels are gone. I think it's it's close to being tidy. We could one thing we could do is round off this door a bit. It looks a little bit squarer than this one. Um Yeah, just like a very small thing. Okay. Um, hello.
Hello, everybody. Hi, True Lardy. How are you doing? So good to see you. I hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. How are things going? You could do the black corner thicker in that dark area so it looks more deep. One thing we could do is, yeah, add, add some sort of, maybe even a like, little gradient for depth. Um... We can try that but i think we're mostly on onto the finishing touches now with it um it's so easy to spend forever do, doing something like this which is fine but we have a scene to build Okay, so I've just, there's a little gradient on that now. Um, gotta get rid of the outside bit though. So we can see the square. Um, Do you know about using the colour burn? It might be a bit strong. Hi, Drakitas, how are you doing? It's good to see you. Everything is superb with me. How about you? We're doing good. We've just been working on a, a cart, guys. We've been having to make it turn this little cart into a big one that's been the goal and we've kind of done it quite fast as well Yeah, we'll leave that for now. I mean, we might still tidy it up at some point, but that one's not too bad. Um, so, still don't know about if it's a bit strong, but just make it a bit paler. It, it doesn't need to be, it can be subtle. Um, You can see there's like more of a shadow at the back than there was before anyway so that works okay um so now we have to put them back onto our uh, sprite sheet again to replace the old ones and now it's a lot bigger than it was before so um yeah, it's not going to fit, it's not going to fit like it did before. So we're going to have to use a different size sprite sheet. Um, image size, camera size, what is it then? The width is fine, it was the height, so 
we just make add an extra 200 pixels um, start again so how big is it now it's 680 pixels so what's that divided by four Hundred and seventy. Okay. So let's just test if that'll fit. Yeah, it will. That's plenty fine. Doing well, has res. I'm doing great, Drakitas. True bolt is needing five hundred raindrops. That emote looked like it was sat in the back of the wagon, did it? When it appeared on stream, oh no, I missed it. Okay. These lines are very pale. I think we can change the colour in the preferences, but I'm lazy. Um, 400, 510, I think it is. Right, I think I think those are the correct measurements. So unfortunately, you're gonna have to get deleted. Um, so let's. Aligned properly. And they're all the same at the moment, these cuts, but it just getting this bright sheet ready will allow us to just easily animate it if we have have this there as a base. Because it'll be cool to like make it look like the wheels are turning for sure. So I'm gonna totally think about doing that as an animation. And when when the cart gets hijacked as well, it's gonna look probably look a bit more battered. Um, maybe. It depends how ambitious we want to be with the cutscene. So we'll have some sprites for that as well when we do that. I'm going to just see if this is definitely the right size. So, yeah. All the gap looks the same. That's That looks perfect. Awesome. So, let's get that saved and put in our G Maker. So, that's um, a good job done because the original cart was definitely a bit small also we will get a horsey if, if we're happy with this size we'll look for a horsey um, um and then we'll do the scroll the back scrolling background after that and then we'll think about the wheel animation but i'm also very keen to get the interior like sorted as well um so the the, the detailed stuff like the animations and stuff i might actually think about tomorrow tomorrow's stream um if we can get the interior done and all the characters inside and even get their dialogue started that'd be awesome even if it looks crappy for now um isn't that a pokemon <laughs> horsey yeah i don't you think the word horsey is cute hi here hey rowan welcome back it's good to see you again okay so let's test again and see how it's looking um i'll have to turn the music off in the background now it's, it doesn't really matter about having a 
sound play through today we can just make mute it considering all the testing we're doing is visual um, so we keep our YouTube playlist in the background okay so it's looking cool let's um, move them a bit closer I want to see what Carol looks like next to it What's your favourite Pokemon, Chub Cheeks? I'm going to ask Chat actually, who's your favourite Pokemon? Just because Chub brought it up. I think knowing everybody's favourite Pokemon tells you a lot about a person. Okay. So that could totally work. And if I want to be fussy, I'll make it even bigger. Um, tonight off stream if I, if I feel it needs to be a touch bigger but it, it could totally work like that I don't think it would hurt if we made it a bit bigger though for added realism um, but it'll just take a bit more tweaking and of the sprite of course um, let's think about getting a horsey though and if, however the look, horse looks with it will tell us a lot if we feel it needs to be bigger if the horse that we like is quite big then we'll make it bigger we'll have a little have a look see what horses there are so give me a sec I'm gonna could you make her and the horse right um, right so I'm gonna get that up so you can all see them have a look what we've got we want we want it to re be a cart horse um that looks like it'll really look good with our cart um i like that there's a running horse as well with some of them because we we have the potential to make the horse run off in the cart the cut scene rather than get killed um <laughs> the human head on a bird disturbing So as you can see, there are absolutely tons of horse assets. It's all about what we feel is the best looking one for what we're doing. Something like that could work. Um, this horse. Like if we, it's facing the front, well, it's facing upwards, these horses here. So that's perfect for what we're after. Um, and this, this artist as well, Hidden One, we're using a lot of their assets for our game anyway. So it, it, they can, it's good to be consistent. Um, So let's see how this horse looks with the wagon. Um, we'll save it and then we'll put it into Photoshop. Chicken cart. Mewtwo is your favourite. Mewtwo's Mew's cute. Mew's a cute Pokemon. My favourite is Ditto and then Slowpoke. Let me make that clear. Okay, so let's look. So the size of the hawk can, be, can 
compared to the car it looks believable doesn't it would you say so if he was sticking out there would that would that sort of would that be believable we wouldn't see the rider so we'd just see the horse's head and i assume the rider would be like here don't think we had a rider asset did we with this horse or i think we did actually but the problem with these assets with the horse is that you can't see the horse's head um if i show you now um we have uh we have some riders on horses here but on that one, you can't see the horse's head. The rider's blocking it. How dare they? <laughs> Is that how it would look in real life? Like, if somebody was on a horse, you'd, you wouldn't see the horse's head. You'd just see the rider. Because if that's the case, then we'd have to just have the rider's head and not the horse. Which makes me sad, because I want to see the horsey, not the rider. I want a horse. But judging by how those assets look... You'd see the rider's head from that angle. Two horses side by side. Oh, that's a good idea. More horse, the more horses, the better, I say. I mean, I I am still... It, it's not going to be impossible for me to make this car bigger. I'm tempted to make it bigger off stream, just a touch. And if I did that... And it'd just be like that. I think it, we could get away with making it a little bit bigger because when we did the player test, um, Carol still looked quite big. Not as big as before next to it, but still quite big. I figured the driver was sat in front of the wagon. Yeah, the the dri the driver wouldn't have to be on the horse, would there? The horse could just be pulling the cart. Hang on, let's look at some reference images of a cart. Cart and horse and cart and see how they look. We need to see a covered up one now. Yeah, generally it's like that then. They're not actually on the horse, they're sitting on a seat that's actually on the cart um on this on the small on the ones without tops anyway but i'm i'm sure it's like that on the ones that do have tops as well um so that's great we can have horse heads there perfect Well observed, Chubb. Something I think that didn't click with me until you mentioned it. That's a good point. Okay. Um, wagon would be a better word to search for. You want to, you want covered up picks. Okay, so wagon. Wagon and cart. No, horse and wagon. <laughs> horse and wagon. Yeah, so something like that. Oh, look, there's a barrel. Carol's made an appearance. So, yeah. Um, the, the rider can be invisible then. From this angle. We wouldn't see him. And when the hijacking happens, we will probably hear some human screams for the rider. And we might see him on the floor if he's being killed as well. In the aftermath. We might see the horses running. Um, we do, we do. Those horses do have a sprite, um, a walking sprite. They don't have. I don't know if they have a running one, but we'll see if we, what we can get working. Um, okay, so scrolling background now as well are you doing an internal shot of the wagon for the conversations because i'm wondering if we will see the driver at that point yes um i will be doing the interior of the wagon so for the interior of the wagon i was thinking of something like this let me see if there's any reference images um 
because it could be closed off from the rider it is some wagons i'm sure i ho i hope are all boxed in and the rider wouldn't be in there because um the ba the barrels themselves only really openly talk when they're alone so well they only really feel comfortable talking when they're alone um is there any wagon reference images of interiors? I can't seem to find any. Hang on, wagon interior. Yeah, I was thinking, I was visualizing maybe a cloth wall. Or something like where the curtain is where the dry and the driver would be in front of that and we wouldn't see him um. inside a wagon So I've got some insides of wagons here. These are pretty fancy ones though. So that's kind of the wagon we've got, isn't it? It's like wood with like the cloth top or cotton top. It's a material top and there's a back but we're not seeing the front are we but i'd assume it was there was cloth in front that's kind of what i'm visualizing and you know even if uh, there aren't any wagons like that in our world we can make it up and say that that's what they're like in our game it's totally cool to do that it's another world after all um I wish I could see the front of a wagon. It's showing all the backs of wagons. Because on that one, there's a gap. Whether you can see inside the car, I don't know. But then you've also got something like this one where um you know what i mean there's a door so the rider of the wagon cannot see inside the cart so that's kind of the thing i'm imagining is going on here there's there's a back there's a separate there's a divider between the uh wagon rider and the the interior of the wagon and that's where the barrels are there's a, all there is is a hole in the back that is that is a hole that's visible and that's why Carol falls out because that hole is there. That wagon has <laughs> wing mirrors, didn't expect that. I oh, know, shocker. So yeah, it's I think that's totally doable. Okay, so as for the next step, let's think what we, the stuff that we've got to do. I'm thinking I'm um, make the cart a touch bigger still. Um we got to do the parallax scrolling and we also have to do the wheel animating and really those are the main things so i'm going to go back to our uh, hang on let's see how many pixels is that Twenty six. So we can make it twenty wider on the side, or just twenty wider, and that's it. And then twenty higher. And I think it'll look even better then. Just will look more believable that Carol would fit inside it as well as four of the barrels without being super squashed. So we, when we do the interior, we don't want them to look all sandwiched together either in there. So it's, it's quite a spacious one. Um, so all we need to do is do this again.
Um, so if we had it that size, it would still fit in on the sprite sheet we've got. Um, which oh, let me let me copy the other one. Oh, hang on. Did I just cross something off? No, I didn't. So I'm gonna just copy one of these so we can compare the size. Um, so smallest one, second biggest and biggest. Carol, you, we go. Um, I want to fit it there, but everything's all merged. If we can let unless we move this one across a bit, and we can fit it there. We'll probably have to make the wheels a bit bigger again, won't we? But this time, no question, that one's big enough. But we probably... Oh, I've just realised something. We probably will have to make it taller, actually. We don't have to. I think it could look fine like that. Um... Top of the morning, hi playing forward, how are you doing? It's good to see you. Is the whole internal map gonna, gonna shake a little? I feel like I'm just listing things to make your job harder because I have cool ideas that just add work. Well, I think it's always good to mention them, Chubb, because anything we can do to make the scene really cool, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna dislike that. Um, and yes, it is true, it's more work. And as, I think as long as it's doable and it's not something that's going to take forever to do and it, it's it's going to enhance the scene more, then I will definitely consider doing it. And as for the sh shaking, I feel like during the hijacking, that is going to be an essential thing to have especially. Um, but it, it, it would probably be a little bit like that at the start when it's calm but definitely during the hijacking it would do it even more um carolina wagon high battle sandwich back hurts oh no not backache i hope it gets better soon would be a crack in the floorboards and another parallax of dirt and what do you mean by another parallax of dirt? As for cracking the floorboards, it's interesting you mention that because um, I need to do that in the cabin. Um, the cabin where Rose is a captive in Quest 1 needs cracks in the floorboards. And I found some assets actually of that, sort of, online. Um, but when the hijacking happens, it'll be super cool to... For everything to turn into a mess <laughs> somehow well that will be a challenge to put together but we can do a good job i know it like you could see dirt traveling past that just lived oh yeah of course so it doesn't look like we want difference differences in the map so that we can see that things are going past to give the illusion of movement um so things like that yeah for sure okay so i'm going to Um, just fill in this now we've got a bigger cart and yeah it's I did a bit of extra time onto our, our scene making today but I think it's very worth it so I think I'm gonna have to make all this bit one color again and then we can add the gradient at the end just because we're changing the size. I'll just pick one colour from that.
oops, it's gone over bits it shouldn't have gone over. I have to be careful now. So yeah, I've just had to make that all one colour again because it had a gradient before for the depth, but obviously because we've changed the size, we're going to have to do that over. layer so I can't just use the paintbrush tool But considering it was quite easy to resize it and make it bigger the first time, I thought might as well do it <laughs> again because it wasn't too bad. It's actually easier than I thought it would be. Um. So we've done those bit. This bit will be easy. We just have to... Uh, and copy this I think and that'll do it's mostly just uh, the same pattern might just have to tidy up the colours there though But yeah, I think this wagon will be big enough then. I don't think we'll need to resize it anymore. Are you making it bigger for the horse? Um, the horses looked fine with it. Um, we decided maybe having two. And I think if there are two horses, it could do with being a bit wider. And looking at Carol next to it, I don't think it will hurt to make it a bit bigger either. Just because there are four barrels and a box and a cookie jar that I have to fit, fit in and I don't want them to look too sandwiched. Um, considering it's going to be quite, it's going to be reasonably spacious in there so uh, it won't hurt to make it bigger. I'm just going to actually give a dark background so we can see this bit better because the lightness of, of this kind of can be a bit difficult to see. So it's going to be easier to do this like this. Um, merge visible. In fact, we could Yeah, it, it works to just do that actually And it gets slightly narrower uh, as it goes further up, which is like believable because it's far further away.
there we go um, so that just filled in a few of the gaps we got to just fill in the messy bits Now imagine this made me made specifically for these barrels since they wouldn't care about them being cramped if they weren't alive. Oh like the barrels can talk. I better make a wagon that gives them enough room to be cosy then. Yeah. Um well it it could go anyway. There could be many reasons why the wagon's big. Just could have a lot of transport, some you know. Um there could be times when it when they carry a lot of stuff but that could be a reason you don't know it all depends because there's a lot of law to be explored still it's all what 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 works best with the plot and any, any twists are cool Okay, I think all the messy bits are okay. Oh, there's this bit. What about wheel size? How is it looking? Also, there's a couple of bits here I see that need filling in. So, yeah, it was looking a little square in some parts, so it's a bit better now. Okay. Also, yeah, a bit of variety to these.
still here just lurking gonna grab some find some food i hope it's yummy hope it's super yummy We'll see how the wheels look a little bigger then. But the rest of the cart's looking all right. They look weird if there was one pixel wider. I think that'll be cool. We don't need to make a massive, but because we made the car a bit bigger then, I think it wouldn't hurt. I might need to get myself a snack in a set too. I'm a peckish one. Okay, so last couple of things, just fix a shadow here. Add the gradient and then I think it's done so oh I see what's happened uh, We'll just have to make it opaque in a sec. A bit transparent in a sec, I mean. Okay, so it's also this. Forgot about that. Um, okay. So if we highlight that bit. To make it another layer. There we go. Now these, we'll do this a better way than we did last time. Um, gradient overlay, there we go. Um, reverse. Oh, my tummy did a massive rumble. Uh, can we 
make this? Can we make it even darker? Yeah, I think it looks better a bit darker. Especially because it's going to be night time. Oh, there's one little thing. I've noticed. So, just... Yeah, just tap. That was disappeared. There wasn't an outline for some reason. shadow thing here that I don't think we need there we go cool so So let's see how Carol looks if she rolls out of this barrel. Yeah, I think that can work fine. I think it's a far more realistic size because even the middle one that we did what we did first, it's a squash for her to roll out. And the sides would kind of stop her, but it being this so open like this, it just seems more real that she would fall out. Um, so, right, so we will copy and paste this again. We have horses now as well. We might have to make it a bit bigger. Oh, we might be fine. Um, well, will the horse's head stick out? If we put them right at the top like that, we get rid of the cart. Would that work? If we saw those horses' heads. I think that could. We could even have them a bit further apart now as well. Um, so that that's exactly... Okay. What do you guys think of the horses position? Closer together or further apart? No, let me know if you think, but I suppose having them a bit further makes more sense because they're gonna be a bit bigger. We don't want them. Bodies bumping into each other. Should the corners of the top of the cart be more rounded now? Um, I suppose we could, we could round it off. Um, 
not too hard to do that because it is looking a bit square isn't it I mean just doing that rounds it off so if it was like was that before and then that So it's not, it's not tons of difference, but we can we can even bring it in a bit because looking at the small car, it kind of goes in a bit sometimes. We could do this. Um, Just so it's not a complete square box. Oh, hang on, have I screwed up there? I think I have. So that has made it a little bit, we could even do it more. No, it might look weird if we do it another pixel, um, but we can do it to this one. Just a bit of a subtle, just a bit of a subtle difference. It just, it was a bit square before it was like that. So now it just brings it in just a touch. There's also the inside flaps of the in entrance. Inside flaps, you think they should be bigger? They definitely look bigger on that one, but I want to give Carol room to fall out. That was one of the reasons I made it bigger. Um, but it can come out a bit So it was that before and now it's that. Can... Just gives it a little bit more. It's not a complete square, which I like. It's a nicer touch. And I think Carol will still fit out for sure, so that'll be fine. Um, let's just fill that in then. Awesome. Okay, so 
Thank you for your observations, by the way, Matt. And it's true, it does, like, you know, steal the time, making it look even better doing all this extra stuff. But I'm always one that says I would rather have it be quite good quality and not a rushed game no good rushing something and just for the sake of getting something out faster and done quicker I mean, at the start of this stream, we could have stuck with that tiny cart, couldn't we? And we chose not to. We thought, nope, we're going to... Um, thought we were like, no, we're going to have a nice big one. Just going to see what to do here. Because they'd have looked silly in that small tiny cart. Okay, I think all the bits are filled in. I hope I've not missed anything important. Uh, There's nothing that stands out to me that's glaringly weird with how it looks. Actually, just this. Um, all right, so I think just a few little things that I've perfected there so if we put it in where with the horses we can see the difference now but it were exactly the same so the difference is like you can say it's a lot more it goes in more and it's not so much of a square box and same with the curtain flaps as well so I'm really happy with that um and the horses look not cute as well um okay so is this a lot how is this aligned it's in the middle yep so now we're going to put them in all the sprite boxes and we'll test it again in rpg maker and all going well we will we will at least try and get the scene the parallax scroll successfully done before we finish up that will be an achievement so there we go everything else is gone
I mean, I'm not going to say no to changing the colour of white to more of a beige. I'm going to see how the parallax map looks first when we've got more decorations and stuff on it because it's still a little bit too early to decide what colour will look best. Okay, for some reason, I must have not. I think that's fine. I just think my guides aren't accurate. There we go. So save. Now it should update automatically in RPG Maker. Might have to move Rose and Carol one step to the side. Let's have a look. I'm excited to see. And this stream, once again, is absolutely flying by. There's something about doing this that just steals all the time away. It's a good thing. Um, okay. Let's hope it looks good. Awesome. So there's some weird, like, I can see, I don't know if you guys can see on your screen, but I can, I know, I've noticed a little pixel problem. Very small, but noticeable. So I'm going to fix that, or I might just do that off stream, because honestly fixing that and copying and pasting all the sprite sheet, again, will just take up the rest of the stream. So um, we'll get, we'll work on getting the parallax map now. Um... Okay, can we get rid of Rose and Carol? Okay, so we're gonna have to put a few little things on the map just so we can, so we know it's moving. So we'll put a bit of differences in the grass and over time I'm gonna make it even prettier, of course. Uh, should we make it that color, yeah. going to look very basic for the time being. Let's get some Okay, um, is there anything else? I know this isn't going to be the Everbloom Forest area, but it's still a local place, so it's going to resemble the Everbloom Forest in some ways. Um, it's kind of the halfway point between the Everbloom Forest and the next zone, so it's going to resemble both that and the next piece. Um, Right, we can put, I'm going to just stick a tree there maybe just so we know for sure that it's moving when we can see it. Whether we have these trees or not when we do the actual map, I don't know. And it's going to be more farmy land rather than forest, but... Um, I'm going to put these ones here instead. Okay, so, yeah, we don't have to be fussy for now. Oh, I've just seen we haven't done it at the bottom. Okay, so we're going to need to save this 
as an, a screenshot image, just like we did when we parallax mapped the Everbloom Forest. I think that's going to be the best way. So where's that plugin? What's it called? Yeah, Orange Map Shot. That's it. So. Um, I think it's F print screen or F12, I think I have to press. So I think I'm gonna have to, I will have to hide the cart when I'm doing this screenshot because it will be there otherwise and we don't want that. So we'll do another test play. Rosie's going to be there though, but we'll delete her. <laughs> we'll just stick a bit of pavement over her. Um, I don't know why Rose is there though. Because I did say turn off followers and hide the hero. Um, print screen. Has that done it? Or F, F, or, oh, okay, it's done it. <laughs> right, so change screen i think that did it anyway it has it saved the screenshot so now we open that screenshot in photoshop it's under map shots um Basically, we have this so this will allow us when we're happy with how the tile set looks to just make it even more pretty and change some things that we want to change we can just have more flexibility with what we want to do with the map but we want it to scroll so i haven't done this before but i'm just going off what i think how i think it's done um i think it's saved under image and parallaxes so everbloom forest six it's well it's not that what should we call it flashback call it flashback scene for now just because we don't know what the place the area is it's nameless at the moment um i guess the edge of the forest could have more shrubs and bushes yeah we'll we'll definitely um, think of how it should work look as a landscape but I for sure imagine it we're coming out the Everbloom Forest now so it's the halfway point between Everbloom Forest and far, the farmland area next to it so it's a lot more flat land um, so it's kind of going from forest to flat landy farmland at this point so it'll be cool to think of what kind of visual things we could have and obviously guys if you have any idea feel free to mention um the type of the type of land landmarks or shrubs or whatever you think could be too well suitable um okay so edit parallax background flashback scene so you guys can't see this at the moment but if i go on my other screen it's got a parallax background section so I've put the image that we just saved in Photoshop and we've got loop vertically and it lets us pick a scroll so if we pick one for now let's see what that does but I'm really glad it lets us do it vertically and not just horizontally Okay, the reason it hasn't worked, I think, is because we have to delete the tile set on top of it. I think that's what we have to do. So we can see the map underneath. I'm assuming that's the problem. I mean, I don't want to get rid of it because then all our hard work has gone to waste and we've still got to make edits to the tile set. But to be honest, it's not that pretty at the moment anyway. So I'm not too bothered. We can. It's not like it's super gorgeous or anything. It's just very plain. Um, okay, so now it should work. 
I mean, I could have copied and pasted the map and so I had to add it there still, but it's not, it's not like I've put effort in making that. Um, okay, so it's working. <laughs> we gotta get rid of Rose though. And we definitely want it to be a bit faster as well. So this is gonna give the illusion of the cart moving. Um, how are we, why is Rose there? We've got change player followers off and we've removed the hero. Is there, any, is there anything else that we're missing? So change player followers off, yeah. Rose should not be there. Um, we got, what's that? Oh, that's the cart. We need to add the cart back, though, for sure, because we can see how it looks. Also, it's got to do it the other way. I noticed it was going the wrong way, so does that mean we... I think we have to put a minus number then. Um, let's let's see now how it's looking. Okay, that's great. So if we can get rid of Rose, put that more in the center, um, make the wheels animate, have a bit of a sound effect of wheels on pavement, that will add a lot. Even uh, horses, the sound of horses as well, walking. Um, but we've got the hard bit done, like, not the hard bit, the most important bit done, should I say, which is uh, getting the illusion of the cart on the road. So, good job. <laughs> good job, me. Um, I just want to see if we can get Rose. I'm really puzzled, perplexed why Rose is there when we've not got her on the map anywhere. We've turned off player followers. And when we had the flashback scene, it got rid of Rose then. So why hasn't it got rid of her now? I've copied and pasted everything the same. The most important bits. Anyway, the only thing that I'm missing is the weight, but oh, the weight one. Why would that make a difference? It's on parallel. Uh, what's so weird is Rose wasn't there the first time we tested this. When we when we had Carol and the Rose Sprite, she weren't there then. Rose, why are you there? <laughs> uh, there's obviously something I'm not done, but I'm really, yeah. Uh... Okay. I think I have a theory what's happened. I think I feel like removing the hero from the party made Rose the main person in the party and hasn't classed her as a follower anymore. That's what I'm assuming has happened, so I'm going to switch those around. Turn play player followers off first and then remove the hero. If this is actually the, the right the one it is, I'm a genius. Also, I accidentally clicked the character generator. <laughs> we'll soon find out. Oh no, see, I thought that that was what made sense. And yet she's still here. I am confused. The only thing we can do then is literally remove Rose from the party, as well as the hero. Um, 
I guess that's why she's there, but considering change player followers was turned off, I assume she wouldn't be. Because that's exactly the same setup I used for the cutscene uh, that we was doing yesterday and it worked then. So what is going on? <laughs> why is Rose there? Okay, she's gone now. So it was literally, we just had to remove one party, which is weird because we didn't have to do that before for the other cutscene. But it's fine. It's working now. we got to just get the cart in a good position. Um, does RPG Maker not know what to do if there's no player char character and just pick someone? Yeah, it's, it seems very weird and temperamental sometimes. But at least it's working now. Maybe you need to make the wagon a cat so it can be on the screen itself or a horse. Oh, I would have probably ended up trying that if she was still there. But at least it's fixed. At least it was more simple than I feared. So let's get it in the middle. Why isn't he in the middle? Um, I'm going to just estimate that. Because he wasn't, he was like way up top before when we tested it. That's why I moved him a bit off. Um, so we'll see. Just got some fiddling to do, I guess. But I'm, I'm happy that we've got like the foundation of the card scene in place. See, he's way high there. Um, but I'm a calling the car a he. <laughs> um, so we. Let's see what happens if we do move them like two pixels lower. Let's see what happens then. That's better. That's definitely more centered now, isn't it? So just imagine this when it's all pretty this this map we've got is looking gorgeous it's night time there's animated wheels there's sound effects there's music that's going to be beautiful it's going to be gorgeous guys so okay now is there anything we can do before we finish up let's have a look let's have a think about the wheel animation then um now that 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 is like one of the things that we mentioned as being something important so we've got our sprite which one we got we got a lot of things up here a lot of tabs so um I'm gonna, because I'm no animator, I'm gonna Google wheel animation. Sprite sheet, just to see how others do it. And if I can get a visual idea, then um, that'd be good, good. But I can just imagine that this little bit here, where the, the shading's different, would just move down. That's how I imagine it working. And that would give the kind of visual appearance of a wheel and it um, moving. Thank you, Trav, for the follow. Welcome. How are you doing? Hope having a wonderful day. Um... Yeah, there's nothing I can look at as a reference. If I'm putting... Doesn't seem to be many. Not not what I'm after anyway. So I feel like I've got to just do it how I think it's going to work. So I can't find a reference. Which is... So we've got three to work with, haven't we? Hang on. How does animation work in RPG Maker again? I forgot. Um, I'm going to have to look at remind myself okay so that's how we did carol's jump i feel like yeah we gotta we gotta just work with that row of um on the sprite sheet haven't we so 
saio. Back with some deep fried mushrooms and cheesy bread. That sounds very tasty. Can you give me some? Right, it'd be great if we can get it the exact same measurements. So that it doesn't look so it look, so it's very smooth. Um so that's 18 pixels that bit is, but what about 16? And we've got three, so that's okay. We can move it if we move it down five pixels then that might work and look okay so one two three four five for this one so what i'm doing at the moment guys i'm attempting to do a wheel animation and unfortunately i don't have a reference image um, I'm sure there's one out there to show me how a weird animation works. I'm doing it from how I can imagine it working, which is the shading at the top slowly moving down <laughs> uh, through. So this that one was more in the middle, and this one's going to be one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So that one will be there. And it might look a bit unnatural maybe or like something else needs adding and if it does I'll just add a bit of extra shading if perhaps. I've got to do it to the other wheel too. Who knows it might look alright, it might look terrible or it might look great. Either one or the other, you never know until you see it. One, two, three, four, five. I'm jealous. Love to give you some, but I'd hate you to risk your life to get here. If only teleportation existed, then you can just put it through the teleport for me. That'd be great. I'm jealous too, battle sandwich. I think the line moving is fine. Yeah, let's hope so. That seemed like the logical thing to do. So, fingers crossed. And we'll test it before we go. So as you can see, it's very subtle. You got you started with that line at the top, then it moves more halfway, and then it's more at the bottom, and then it's at the top again. We'll see how it looks. We might need to change the positioning of that line if something looks if it doesn't look very smooth, but we'll We'll, we'll test it first. Um, okay. So, I am assuming that means you have to put stepping on. Turn the animation when the character's not moving. Yeah. I think if we click the stepping box, it will do that. I'm thinking. So, let's have a look. If it needs to look more natural it might help to do some math stuff so it's moving like the downward part of a sine wave yeah since signs are defined as a height point on a rotating circle okay i'll make i'll google sine wave I, I don't know if i've pronounced it right i've heard of it before though but i'll probably have to look at some kind of reference to give me a bit of a guide let's have a look then fingers crossed It isn't working. It's staying as it was. Okay, so I put on the step in, which says turns on the animation when the character is not moving, which should be, should make it work. Is it because walking's on? Turns on the animation when the character is moving. Turn that off then. Hmm. Hi, hi Raphael, how are you doing? It's good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Goes to prepare the portal. <laughs> yeah, let's have a portal, that would be fantastic. Okay, 
Okay, it's still not working for some reason. It's going to be something really dumb and obvious. I just know it. I assumed it, I just needed to tick the stepping box and then it would show it, it moving. Well, I'd see the line going down to give the illusion of the wheel, the wheel turning. But it hasn't worked for some reason. Um, okay. Like... Now, if I if I do this, I'm gonna out of pure curiosity put a sprite of Rose here, um, and she's gonna be the same exact same one, the top left, and she'll be stepping too. And now, I bet you she'll work. If she does, and then we know that there's something we haven't done. Hi, Mobile. Could you alternatively wiggle the horses' heads up and down? Oh, that's a good idea as well. To Just little small touches like that will really bring it to life. So thank you for your ideas, everyone. Appreciate that, Mobile. Things that you don't think of and you realise will just make it better. See? You see what I mean? Rose is doing the stepping. I've, I've, I ha but it isn't working for the cop. Maybe I just didn't save it properly on Photoshop. That's what I'm thinking now because it should have worked. Um, let's save it again. <laughs> Might still be the old file there. That's the only thing that makes sense. Or maybe I have to refresh RPG Maker. Because sometimes you have to do that. <laughs> but it should be working, in all honesty. I'm doing the right thing. Okay, it's working now. Let's get Rose out of the way because she's very distracting. We'll do a test play without her there. And we can look at it properly. Um and see how the wheels are moving. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see the wheel, the line, because it's so subtle. And because you're not watching in full screen like me, I don't know if you'll see. Maybe you will, but you need good eyes, probably. Um, okay, there's something definitely wrong with the animation. It's going down and then up. And it's not meant to do that. It's meant to do that. It, it, what we want is a wheel like doing that, not that. It's bob, it's bobbing up and down instead of going round like a wheel should. So something about the animation needs a little edit. Um, and obviously, I'll be doing that off stream, and we'll we'll uh, work on making the horse's head bob as well. I think that could add a lot. Um, and then things like sound effects can come in as well. I'm not going to be too fussed about making the parallax map pretty yet. I kind of want to get the cutscene, all all the dialogue and everything in place first and everything working. So tomorrow's stream is going to be more about getting the dialogue for this with the the barrels and the the companions tomorrow we'll, we'll work on the interior of the cart as well we'll get all the characters put in so that'll be more the goal tomorrow and prettifying it we can do last so would it be cool if we can at least get this cart looking animated uh, that'll be a good job so i'm gonna have a mess about with that off stream tonight to see what i can do your game's looking cool. Thank you, Raphael. We, we're working on um, a cart flashback scene at the moment. So we're trying to give the illusion of the cart moving on the road. So it's going to look super good when it's done. And if you want to know more about the project as well, we have a, a couple of commands here. We have a, the story so far as well, video on YouTube. And I, I am also uploading all, all my VODs on the YouTube as well since the very first stream. So we're on stream 95 today. So all the streams are uploaded on there. Um, stream 100 is going to be a special stream. I'm going to be, I'm planning on releasing, launching the website of our game. So that's going to be exciting. 
Okay, guys, so thanks for being fabulous. I think we've had a productive stream. Um, it was always going to be a tricky seed to pull off because it's, it's pretty fancy, but we've done it. We've, we've got the cart looking good and we've managed to get the map scrolling as well. So I think that will be it for today. So give me a mo, guys, because I am going to... Before we go off, I'm going to check if there is anybody online today that we might want to drop a, a host to. Um, no, I think, thank you all for hanging out. Um, hope you have a nice day. Thank you, Bat Sandwich. So I am going to drop us off at somebody's stream. Um, somebody who's been... A, re a really awesome supporter and friend of mine for since I've started streaming actually called Geeky Goat she's playing Skyrim um, so if you like Skyrim and RPGs you'll like this stream um, so raid exclamation mark you can just say Rose Red Blood with an email of your choice or you can say hi whatever you feel like saying um, and uh, We'll see how she's getting on. Okay, so. Geeky go. There we go. I'm waiting for my advert to finish. <laughs> Don't want an ad to there when I'm in the stream. Okay. So I'll see you all tomorrow, everybody. And we'll be carrying on with this scene. But we'll be doing more of the actual interior of the cart tomorrow with the dialogue and the sit let the we'll see the scene unfold um and uh i'll see you all tomorrow i'm excited take care you're all the best